This makes a significant beginning of the new academic session. Let us proudly welcome the elected leaders with the band and in the company of the chief guest, the correspondent and the principal. St. Joseph Metric Band. usually give a complete thought-provoking festive and here we have an apt person our teacher mrs joan as the chief guest she is a multifaceted personality her action speaks more than her words a warm welcome to you ma'am
Discipline Committee Leader Discipline Committee Leader D. Savita Sri I thank you, sister. May I now request the chief guest to honor the leaders. Environment Committee Leader, A.J. Sara. Environment Committee Assistant Leader J. Kalin Maria. Assistant Leader, A.D. Inia. 
Traffic Committee Leader R. S. Vidya Rashini. Traffic Committee Assistant Leader M. Danya Shri. I thank you, ma'am. May I now request our principal sister to honor the captains and vice captains of the four houses. Blue House Captain, E. Priyadarshini. Blue House Vice Captain Blue House Vice Captain D. Sulaksha Yellow House Captain M. Deekshana Deepthi. Yellow House Vice Captain S. Yes, Manasa. Red House Captain D. Dharani Kasturi. Red House Vice Captain J. Maisara Shahiba. Yemas Babadarani Green House Vice Captain G. Ashwin Jennifer. Thank you, sister. Now, it's time for taking oath. Oath taking. God the Almighty, in the name of God the Almighty, we the leaders of St. Joseph Metric High Secondary School, we the leaders of St. Joseph Metric High Secondary School, swear that, swear that, we'll devote ourselves, we'll devote ourselves for the efficient running, for the efficient running and progress of the school, and progress of the school by rendering our full cooperation, by rendering our full cooperation to the administrators, to the administrators and teachers, and teachers. We assure that, we assure that we'll discharge, we'll discharge all our duties, all our duties in accordance with in accordance with the rules and regulations of the school the rules and regulations of the school we believe that we believe that 
God called us. God called us to love one another. To love one another. And all things He made. And all things He made. We promise to show. We promise to show this love in our school. This love in our school by building good relationship among us. By building good relationship among us. The children of God. The children of God and the rest of the creation. And the rest of the creation will be good. Will be good and kind to others. And kind to others. Will be friendly. Every today, we will be friendly every today and respect the feelings of others and respect the feelings of others and thus practice and thus practice the motto of our school, the motto of our school, love and serve, love and serve in our today, in our today and today life and today life. The challenge of leadership is to be strong but not rude. To be kind but not weak. To be bold but not bully. To be thoughtful but not lazy. To be humble but not timid. Best wishes for today's leaders. Thank you. What are you doing? I am thinking about our school. What are you thinking? My parents are always saying that they struggle a lot to get admission in the school. There are many other schools, no? For that they are saying, if I studied here in the school, I became a disciplined girl. Oh, school changes us that much? From the school, we learn many other life lessons other than book lessons. From AJ to 12, teachers give many moral values to the students. We everyone should follow the rules to make our atmosphere peaceful. Let us see the rules. We should greet our teachers, aunties and friends when we arrive in school. By doing so, we can spread happiness. Never jump on benches and desks. If we did so, we have to meet the consequences. Always be on time. Learn to be punctual in school. Otherwise, we will lose the first period and instead of attending the class, we have to suffer with punishments. We are neat and tidy uniform with ID card, shoes and with proper hairstyle. Yes, we are Josephite family. So always we are neat and tidy. Everyone should maintain silence if we are classroom or in restroom areas. It will be very noisy in interval period and it may call irritator. Disciplined students are the architects of their own beliefs. As a result, they are not as easily distracted by temptations. They feel more satisfied by their lives. Let, Let us all follow with discipline in everyone. Thank you. நம்பிக்கைல <laughs>
we must wear helmet while riding two wheelers it helps to avoid any kinds of head injuries use zebra crossing to cross the road we must follow these rules we will follow some rules in our school campus they are we should not stand or run on the desk don't push or run while walking in the line walk in a line inside the school building never enter into the labs without teachers don't hit others or don't fight with your friends don't rush to get into the classroom after games period or break time wait for your turn everywhere dear friends we must follow all these rules thank you rules can be helpful rules can be good they, they help us begin thank you
the importance of it is so let's inculcate the following in our habit listening to educational news in english speak in english with all possible persons be willing to correct yourselves when you are corrected today a reader tomorrow a leader today a reader tomorrow a leader the more you read the more you know reading journals and magazines least twice a week every day learn to new english words and use it in your speech and finally be the best speaker in english to become international player let's be our best thank you which leads to a great demand of all basic needs of our livelihood like food fuel shelter etc and because of it today's agriculture patterns and lifestyle also totally changed 
Your our grandparents come. They will explain you well about the change in agriculture practice. Yes, my dear. Nowadays, we are in a situation to produce more food materials and we depend on modern machinery techniques and chemical inputs. These are leading in reduction of soil fertility, land degradation and loss of fresh water availability. Dear, not only that, a way of present day agricultural and animal husbandry practices leads to release of nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide and methane. Increase of greenhouse gases leads to greenhouse effect and thereby global warming. Greenhouse effect? What is it? Babana, see here, your sister and friends have come. Hi Shobana. Hi Babana. Do you know about greenhouse effect? Yes Babana, we have learned in our school about greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is a process by which the radiant heat from the sun is captured by the greenhouse effect by the gases in the atmosphere that increases the temperature of the earth ultimately. Burning of fossil fuels and usage of electrical gadgets play a major role in the release of greenhouse gases. Bavana, there are many negative effects of global warming like rise in global temperature which causes sea levels to rise as polar ice caps and glaciers are begin to melt causing submergence of many coastal cities in many parts of the world. Also, there will be a drastic change in weather patterns bringing more floods or droughts in some area. Oh my god, it's much threatening. Can't we control it? We can control Bhavana as an individual. We can follow certain measures in our day to day life. We can walk or use bicycle instead of using car for a short distance. We can turn off the electrical gadgets when we are not using them. We can maintain garden and plant trees wherever as possible. Yes, the heat trapping greenhouse gases are increasing. Global temperature is rising, planet is warming, glaciers are melting and the sea level is rising. What is a trump card to get rid of this crisis? Luckily, there are many species of living organisms can reverse their global warming. Trees, the one and only creature that have the potential to make oxygen that can lower the temperature drops, seasons will be moderate, flood and drought will become rare. Because of our science club, we were donating some saplings to our school to create a green environment. My dear friends, let's go green together to make our earth clean. Thank you.
There are so many freedom fighters who fought for our country to get freedom for us. Not only men, but also women played a vital role. There are so many women freedom fighters. Especially, I want to tell you about Venu Nachia. The reason why we chose Venu Nachia is she stayed in our Dindical for 8 years. While she was in Dindical, she had severe training to fight against the British. In order to pay tribute for her bravery, our Dindical Collectorate Office had been named as Velunachia Campus. I hope uh, here comes the lioness of Sivagangai, brave, courageous, marvelous, splendid and wonderful person. I hope after this program, everyone will get clear thoughts about Velunachia. Velunachia, the queen of Sivagangai from 1780 to 1790. She was the first Indian woman to wage a war with British East India Company in India. She is also called as Veeramangai. She fought against the British East India Company with the help of Marudu brothers, Tandavarai and Pillai, Hyder Ali's army. She was the princess of Ramanadaburam and the only child to the king Chellamuttu Vijaya Raghunadha Sedibadi and queen Sakandi Muttatai of Ramanadaburam kingdom. She had trained in many martial arts like Valeri, Silambam, horse riding, archery, stick fighting and to wield war weapons. She was scholar in languages like French, English and Urdu. She married Muttu Vadiganadan Periya Udaya Devar, the king of Sivagangai. Had a lovable daughter named Vellachi Nachiyar. Her husband was killed in 1780 at Kaliyar Koval battle. She was escaped and ran away from Sivagangai, carried her little child. Gopala Krishna Nayak from the Nikal gave her shelter. She was under the custody of Gopala Krishna Nayak and Marudu brothers. Gopala Krishna Nayak and Marudu brothers gave her full support to recover her kingdom of Sivagangai. Hyder Ali, the king of Mysore, helped Velnachia with 5,000 soldiers and many gunpowder weapons. After a year of planning along with Tipu Sultan, Marudu brothers and many federal lords, Velnachia fought against the British. She gave most important place to Queen. Queen is history. Queenie was born in the 18th century at Kundanjavadi near Sivaganga. His mother was also known for his bravery while dying while fighting along with the wild bull. Quili is a commander of Vilnachia. Quili is also a faithful friend of Vilnachia. She walked into the British arsenal in 1780 after setting herself on fire to destroy the British weapons. See how Quili sacrificed his life to a nation. Vilnachia ruled Sivaganga more than 10 years. She granted her power to her daughter with the help of Marudu brothers. When Nachia died few years ago, 
On 31st December 2008, the government released a posting stamp in her name as Venachia. As a female children, we should be brave as Venachia. We want to be brilliant, courageous, talented, fascinating, and the great warrior like her. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ma'am. First, I want to congratulate all the leaders, committee leaders, and Everybody, the participants, those who participated here. Okay. The program was nice. Wishes to all on this occasion of investiture ceremony. I am given an assignment of speaking of leadership quality. So I am so happy to share my thoughts with you all. Let me start with some quotations. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. And leaders create leaders. In its simplest form, leaders influence the other people to follow. Anyone who can influence others to follow him, he has leadership skills. Now I am going to say a little small story. One day, a man came on a horseback. On the way, he saw some soldiers digging a big pit. He went near them and he noticed one among the soldiers was sitting nearby them. Simply, he was barking orders. This horse man went near him and he asked, why don't you help, it, help them, help the soldiers? He asked. But that man said, it's not my duty. I am, one, I am here only to give orders. That horse man helped the soldiers and completed the work. And again he came back to the soldier. Anyone who cannot follow his teachings cannot be the leader and he went off. That man is a General Washington. What do you learn from this children? What do you learn? Leader, a leader is, he is the person not only giving the orders alone, he has to work with his teammates. Clear children? So leadership skills includes the ability, uh, the um, ability to be act, solving the problems, to have active listening, patience, communicate, manage time wisely, motivate the followers, and set an example. My dear students and teachers, to get more work done, teamwork is essential. The team needs a leader and leader must know what to do. Leaders provide guidance, inspiration and motivation to achieve goals. And he should possess some necessary skills. In the absence of leadership skills, the so-called leader may lead astray. So, I want to give some tips to be a leader. First, practice discipline. Be courageous. Take up responsibility. Learn to listen. And keep learning. Inspire others. Empower your teammates, resolving conflicts, and be a listening, discerning listener. 
concluding this speech i wish you all the great day of leadership ahead thank you one and all and i have to thank our sisters for giving me this chance thank you dear teachers and children generous on every occasion and through us your generosity will result in thanks giving to god a very good morning to all saying thank you is a good spirituality on behalf of all teachers and students i am glad to stand here to express my vote of thanks a special thanks to our chief guest mrs joan for accepting our invitation and for being here with us today your thoughts have truly inspired us with your appreciating speech you made us feel very enthusiastic thank you ma'am our loving thanks is sprinkled to the correspondent reverend sister mary montani for being there for us in all that we do your motherly guidance means a lot for us thank you sister i thank our principal reverend sister mary punita for always supporting and guiding us in the innovative ways thank you sister for your guidance our teachers the motivators of students always put in a lot of effort and love into making each one of us good students and wonderful human beings i thank you teachers my heartwarming thanks to all the volunteers and participators because of whom we made this ceremony successful thank you dear friends i would like to thank each and every one of you for being here and making this day a wonderful and memorable one thank you once again